I got dumped once. And so I, I booked a spontaneous trip to Ireland by myself. So I um, flew to Ireland and just did some solo time. And This is David Stark from Watcher Pass. Today I'm joined by Virginia Gardner and Alex Ayano of See You on Venus, which is coming to theaters on July 21st, 2023. I'm going to talk to them right now. And while you're watching, if you can like and subscribe to this channel, that would be fantastic. I'll spend a lot. Thank you. Hello. All right. Hey, how you there doing, we. David? Hey, doing well. How are you? Good, good, good. Thank you. So thanks so much for joining me. Today I've got Virginia Gardner and Alex Ayano of See You on Venus, which is coming to theaters on July 21st, 2023. It is a coming of age, like rom-com drama with a kind of long journey of discovery. It has humor, it has heart, it has some pretty big surprises. So I'm excited to talk to you about it. And thanks so much for joining me. Thank you. Thank you. Thanks for nailing the last name. I know it's, it's sometimes it's a little bit of a task and you crushed it. Uh, I do my research. There you go. <laughs> so, uh, so I'm just curious and I'm always uh, wondering, like, how did this come across your desk? How did this story come to you? I know, I think it's a book is being released with this movie or kind of at the same time. So I don't, you probably didn't read it before. How did this kind of come on your radar? And also, I guess we'll start with you, uh, Virginia. Um, well, the good news is the book was written as we were making the movie. So book fans um, won't be disappointed that the, the book is going to be very accurate to what the movie <laughs> is. So uh, people will love that, I'm sure. Um, but this came across my my desk, if you will, uh, because I worked with the producer, Brian Pitt, previously. And I worked with Voltage previously as well, the studio that did this film. And I was filming a movie in Bulgaria with Brian and he pulled me aside and he said, I've got this movie. It's a passion project of mine. Um, he loved the message. He just felt like it was a really important film to make. Um, and he thought I would be right for the role of Mia. And I read it and I totally fell in love with it. And I fell in love with Mia's optimism and the way she looks at life. And I loved that this is a movie that I think um, an entire family could watch together and everybody can enjoy it and take something out of it. And um, yeah, I just, I immediately fell in love with what Brian wanted to do with this film. For sure. And I, I take it, you know, from your character of Abby in Beautiful Disaster and now Mia in See You on Venus, it seems like maybe you like quirky characters that have like an interesting outlook on life. Is that something that drew you or do you just, are there, do you consider them just separate and you just thought they were both interesting projects? Um, I thought they were both interesting and very different projects. Um, but yeah, I like choosing characters that I don't think we've really seen before, or you can kind of create them and make them something you haven't seen before. So that's certainly a draw to me. And I, I will I will back you up. This is definitely a character I've not seen before. So that was <laughs> that was truthful. And Alex, how, how did you get involved in this product? How did you kind of get on this radar? Oh man, I, I had been um I've been having conversations with uh with Brian and the the team over at Voltage um and uh to, to, to minimize the amount of time answering the question, I felt the exact same way that Jenny did when she read it. And, um, and you know, it was something that seemed exciting, adventurous, um, an equal amount of challenge and reward. Uh, it, it seemed very exciting. Brian, um, the producer, uh, Brian Pitt, has so much passion for this movie mm -hmm. that uh, it, was, it was only inspiring. It was only... Uh, made you want to dive into it even more. And so uh, getting getting to sink your teeth into something that other people are sinking their teeth into, it just it's 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 exciting and it makes it, it makes it so, so passion filled. and you have so much fun and you work hard and you and you you just enjoy the process more. I love that. No, it's definitely true. like that that passion, that excitement is infectious and it kind of like, takes over especially on the movie i imagine this this had a, probably an okay budget but not like a giant budget so if if you have to kind of like everyone pitch in and do kind of do your best because you're trying to make this thing happen given the limited resources that kind of love for the film and the source material definitely will help out yeah um, i think outside of i think outside of uh, of the budget and, and i think that's what makes me it draws me to great art in general or art that's fun to make is that regardless of the budget you're willing to go above that if the budget's a hundred million you put in a billion dollars of of effort if it's uh, twenty dollars you'll put in a hundred dollars of effort and so um i think it just really comes down to working with people who creatively feel that same way that you do and, and no matter what the situation is you'll always go above and beyond that makes perfect sense. And Alex, speaking of art, I know you've been kind of, you've been making art for years and years, but I know movies are kind of like a newer endeavor for you. Did, was that transition from, you know, music and then music videos into movies easy? Was it difficult? Were there challenges along the way? Because I, mean, I, I think your performance is great in this film. So definitely you, you had either natural talent or some coaching. I'm curious to hear how that journey was. 
Oh, thank you so much. You know, I think art's such a, a, a creative based thing, right? Like there's no real way to tell if it's good or if it's not good, at least when I'm deep in it. I know if it's real or if it's not real. And that's kind of my guidelines for if, if I like it or not. Um, I've been very fortunate then at that point of a creative spirit to have people and meet people who can take that and create guidelines to, to, to create ships in which they can like put me in places, you know, uh, Peter DeSantis, who, who was my agent over at UTA um, and, and, and Matt Luber, Lena Rockland, my managers, um, everybody was, was so good at identifying uh, Billy Mann, my manager previously. Uh, and one of my best friends in the whole world. Um, I, all of them have, have been such so good at, at creating avenues in which I can express myself and I just worry about expressing myself. And so I appreciate you for your kind words on acting. It's still an, a, an endeavor that uh, I don't know if I, if I fully understand the, the range for myself. And so I keep trying new things and, and that's exactly what this role was, isn't trying another new thing. And, uh, and, I, and I'm very happy with not only the, the outcome of the project, but I'm also happy that I got to try another new thing and live adventurously and make an incredible friend out of Ginny. That's awesome that like filming this movie is also kind of the, for you was like the message of the movie, right? You have to kind of like get your comfort zone, try new things, go on adventures. And that's exactly what you did. Yeah, uh, I, I didn't really think about that. That's perfect. <laughs> And uh, Jenny, so you mentioned that the, the book was kind of being written as this film was being filmed and, and created. Your character has a lot of different, like, interesting, you know, personality traits and things like that. Were you able to, is any of you in that? Or, like, were you able to kind of, like, change the character as you're, as you're making some scenes? You're like, oh, maybe she should do this. Or maybe she should have this little quirk to kind of, like, show it. She's, like, not conforming. Or she has this little, like, I don't know, not, not tick, but, you know, she crosses her fingers a lot. Like, was any of that, you know, you, were you able to put your stamp on that? Or was that kind of the character already and you just kind of interpreted that? Um, a lot of that was already on the page for her. I think where I was able to, I mean, look, and anytime you play a character, there's part of yourself in that character. It's mm -hmm. uh, to me kind of unavoidable to not have that relationship. But um, I think I was really able to put my stamp on, on creating her wardrobe and she's been in the foster care system a long time. So everything she has has been, is our hand-me-downs or she's wearing them inside out because they're worn and she's trying to hide the fact that it's worn, but like the crossing of the fingers and all that stuff was already on the page. But a lot of it was just to kind of show her innocence in child, uh, childlike qualities. No, definitely. And those those definitely came through. And so much of this film is, you know, your chemistry between between the two of you. Did you get to have any time to establish that beforehand? Or did you just kind of like jump in and just say, hey, we're both passionate about this project. Let's go. Well, I, Alex and I, we met beforehand and we both hit it off right away. And then we started working with um, with uh, an acting coach, this guy, James Minarski, who's fantastic who kind of walked us through a number of kind of trust exercises with each other where we were able to be very vulnerable. And this was before we started filming and we were able to, uh, yeah, just share this vulnerability and kind of getting out of our comfort zones together before we got on the screen. So I think that we already hit it off so well just as people, but then um, doing those exercises and things and sharing the vulnerability really just like uh, allowed us to really build that chemistry and build that friendship even more. Awesome. Um, and so I know I know we have limited time. I have a, just a couple quick follow up questions. Uh, you know, this film is a I guess road adventure film. Have you either of you ever taken something like that? Just kind of like packed up and gone on the, a crazy trip? I'm just curious. Like, you know, was there anything that, that you were drawing from when you were making this movie? Uh, I'll start with you, Alex. Yeah, it's funny. I, I feel like I've always been pretty spontaneous. You know, I, I've done it with my. I remember as a kid, I remember my dad being like, "Hey, let's go to Vegas tonight," and uh, which is a weird thing to tell your son. Don't judge my father. Um, <laughs> well, he uh, turned out okay. So <laughs> we, have, we have we have family in Vegas. Uh, I forgot to forgot that important part. It's not like, "Hey, let's hit the strip." Uh, Twelve year old. Uh, so me and my dad, we, you know, I'd always done spontaneous trips with him, and I always loved to be spontaneous. Um, but uh, but this was it's an inspiring film. I'm actually this is not this is not for press or anything. I actually am currently planning with Zach Steiner, by the way. Uh, so Zach, who is a friend of Ginny's, who I've who I've since stolen since Ginny and I became friends, <laughs> um, uh, planning a trip across the country in an RV. So it's uh, we're we're about to adapt into it. We're have life imitate the art uh, in in this situation. So I'm excited for that. That is awesome. That sounds really great. Uh, Jenny, what about you? Have you ever, uh, are you, are you going to meet them at some point during this, this trip or? 
Maybe. I don't know if I can crash a week. Oh, yeah. You know, you can crash. It's, you know, Ginny, Ginny's, Ginny's always in Canada filming movies or, uh, you know, always living the life, getting married, being happy and everything. But, you know, the, the, the offer is always there. Um, I did, uh, I got dumped once. And so I, I booked a spontaneous trip to Ireland by myself. So I um, flew to Ireland and just did some solo time. And I'd always wanted to see the Northern Lights and was like, screw it. I don't need anyone to go with me. I'll do it myself. And I did that as well. So I'm always pro a little last minute adventure. That is awesome. And so I know we have, we have to wrap soon. I have just one quick question. This may be a little spoiler, but not really. What is your personal Venus? Do you have something that you kind of like like a perfect place or something that you like, makes you better and makes you kind of want to live your life to the fullest? I know this is probably a, a you know, a lot of people assume my answer, uh, but um, I'm going to go with Ginny's dog. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, I'm only kidding with you, David, because um, uh, as we've been asked that question uh, at any point uh, throughout this whole process of filming the movie, make, you know, editing the movie, now talking with, um, with, with amazing reporters like you, um, I've, I've always given the answer of my family because they're, they're, they're my rock. Um, and not to spoil Ginny's answer, but hers tends to be something that rhymes with her schmog. Right? <laughs> uh, so mine's definitely my family in the Ginny, what's yours? Everybody's dying to know. You yeah, know? We're curious. You you're guessed not... it. Oh, well now, now you're all family together. So her dog is kind of part of your family. So there we exactly. go. Exactly. Exactly. I think me and her dog are actually in the same, but I think we both belong to Ginny and Jed is exactly like kind of where the situation, not to get too, you know, don't, I, I know what you're thinking, David, don't go there. Yeah. No, no. This, this, my, my mind is a blank slate. <laughs> no, but uh, I think, I think it's, just, it's, it's great getting to be, have that family dynamic again, because my family is my Venus and now Ginny and Jed and Winston, her dog are my family. Now they are also my Venus. There we go. I love that. I love that answer. I love, I love talking. I know we have to wrap. You have a very busy day, but uh, thank you so much for your time. This is Virginia Gardner and Alex Ayano of uh, See You on Venus. It is coming to theaters on July 21st, 2023. Thank you so much. Hey, thank you, David. That was Virginia Gardner and Alex Ayano talking about See You on Venus, which comes to theaters on July 21st, 2023. It is a cute but dramatic like journey rom-com. It has a really fun cast and just a beautiful setting. It is something that will make you want to take your own road trip of discovery. If you like this interview, please like and subscribe to this channel. It helps me out a lot. Make sure all my new content goes straight to you. Thank you. Thank you.